Hi there, everyone. Uh, unfortunately, I lost some footage of uh, the Dark Souls gameplay, where it involved going to the chapel and killing the gargoyles and a few other things. But to make up for it, I could present to you something that's uh, just as good as my Dark Souls gameplay, a, uh, a, a slideshow of uh, MS Paint drawings that illustrate the events that occurred. So here I am at Firelink Shrine, starting the episode. Look at me, all happy. Uh, when I discover that the bonfire actually cannot be lit or sat down at. And this is quite concerning, so I go over to the firekeeper, and I find out that she is dead. Uh, I find a black orb that's telling me that I have to find the person that killed her to reclaim the firekeeper's soul, and then I could go on making decisions from there. However, um, this makes me quite sad, and I shed a little tear right there. So the only, uh, the next place to go is the chapel, so I end up going to the chapel, having a good old stroll, making my way to the gargoyles to fight the next boss, or you guys, because, you know, that's what this whole video things are about, go fight boss, end of video, all that. When I get up by a bunch of, uh, naked men with, uh, makeshift, uh, metal bits, and, uh, the, yeah, they're easy enough, and I make it to the roof. Uh, yep, there I am, at the roof, I've made it, stretching out my arms after being in cramped corridors all day, and that's when the gargoyle shows up, and then the second gargoyle shows up. And I have a good old romp with these two, and then the second one starts breathing fire. Look at him. He doesn't have a tail. The first one did have a tail. I did not manage to cut it off because, you know, that's how uh, that works. But after uh, defeating the gargoyles, I make it to the top, and I find the lever. Uh, the lever, looking much like myself, uh, we have a thrilling fight where it almost bests me. But I managed to defeat the lever, and I pull it, and it makes a ding dong, and that opens the gates to send for Sen's fortress, which is where we will pick up right now. Hey there, welcome back everyone. We're in Dark Souls again, and we're going into the grand old Sen's fortress. We finally rang both bells, and we're walking ourselves in there now. Now, Sen's fortress could be a, a pretty daunting looking place, and look at it. It's basically a castle. But I'm sure it's friendly, and barely any traps are around. And very few snakemen. Most of them can't even see. So, the way you deal with uh, serpent-like men is uh, the same way you deal with everything in this game. You pretend to lose. Get yourself guard broken. And, uh, yeah, just, uh, give, give it a minute. Let them come to you. Okay, the blue tears don't ring will protect me. This is just not going well for me. I'm a, I'm a little distraught, guys. I might be a little sleepy, a little tired or something. I don't know. Something's wrong with me. That took way more effort than it needed. Let me pick up a little thing right here. Misplays on me. So, uh, let's get through Sin's Fortress. So you can go down there, and there's some things down there, like a little tightening thing. But uh, what I like to do is get the nice bow out, and uh, make, make your life a little easier by uh, missing. There we go. Yeah, there we go. You know what? And I think I'll just shoot one more time. And boom. Oh, it d disappeared and it's dead. Alright, let's aim at that one. And pew! Okay, let's see what he's up to. Ooh, oh, here he comes. Here he comes. Can he do it? He grew up in this place, so he might have an advantage here. Or not. Okay, so these things could look intimidating. But, uh, nah, just, uh, take your time with them. Actually pretty straightforward. And there you go. Now, uh, the weakness of the Snake Man is, uh, a sharp, sharp bit of, sharp bit of sword. Cool. Now these things do have gaps between them, and there's plenty of room to just walk forward and then wait. 
You want to avoid getting uh, hit by the traps and stuff. It's pretty bad. Snake man right there. Snake man right here. He's fine. Do a quick run up here. Get a nice little defensive ring up there. Uh, we might go and get. Ah, screw it. Let's just go. We have everything we need already, right? That's what I've been saying. Hello. They are backstabbing, that's what we're supposed to be doing. There it is. Nice Hornet ring backstab. So you win in this game, right? Yeah, probably. So, uh, this next bit's a bit pretty tricky. You want to time the boulders so that uh, you just go up. And, uh, yeah, just wait for the next one. There, see? Easy as pie. And then you just keep going this way. Now, the trick to this one is getting hit twice and avoiding the third one. Yep, right there, that's what you want. Let's just push through. Brute force our way through it, right? That's the winner's choice, just brute force your way through stuff. When in doubt, brute force your way through. Snake man? Hello. Good trade. Now, we want to make sure we get all the snake men or else we're going to get snake men slithering up behind us. Good trade. Once more. There you go. Two large titanite shards. See, this is what, this is what I meant. Got snake men coming up behind us. Ooh, up the stairs we go. We're basically done with this place already. We're not, we're about halfway, I guess I would call it. Now, um, we never play fair. And that's why we just uh, don't give enemies a chance to mess with us. Otherwise, this might have been a uh, might have been a challenge, and we're we're chilling out. We're we're not we're not playing challenge mode. We're playing a uh, chill out mode. Get some arrows going. Go through this thing. Yep, there you go. Another fog wall done. There's a man that's gonna throw large explosive things at us. And that's just unfriendly. Don't know about this one come right here. Boom, it's a bonfire. Help you guys get uh, settled in a bit easier. I can take a little nap here. We'll be good. Then just drop down here on these stairs again. And make your way back. Back through. Now you wanna, you wanna keep pace here. Like, stay at a quick pace or else the Big old giant's gonna get you. Any place with these like black scorch marks on the ground, that's a that's a free shot for the giant to shoot you. Now I think we're safe right here because he doesn't like throwing them over here. I'm relatively sure. I'm pretty sure, right? You wouldn't throw them over here, would you? Would you know? Would you know? Uh oh. I might have misspoken. Let's uh, hurry up. But then again, we can just brute force our way through it. <laughs> Who needs skill when uh, you know you take every advantage you can get? But uh, yeah, let's let's get on with it. Just making our way through things. Just do a, a speedy walk. Speedy walk up this way. A balder knight with a crossbow. You know, don't see that that often. 
Now, um, you can go through there, fight the boss, but you don't want to do that yet. I'm going to come up here and have a good go at the giant. Because the giant... Oh, oh. Excuse me. You! Then he gets tired. And then you, uh, you take him out, and he drops a nice little titanite chunk for you. And then we go fight that guy. He's like a giant, but, uh, you know, more, m more metal. And by that I mean more metal parts. Not, like, you know, listens to, to a certain type of music or anything. But yeah, let's, uh, let's get on with it. Let's get the two-handed sword out. That's the wind move. You don't want to get hit by that one. And again, you don't want to get hit by any move. Oh, I thought he was going to get me. And you're just going to keep him off balance. You know, on balance, off balance, doesn't matter for us. But uh, he gets off balance really easily. More stamina, please. He just like, he just takes a breather. And then that's, uh, that's how you beat the Iron Golem. And then we're off. Uh, next time, we'll uh, touch this fancy golden ring and see where that leads us. So, I'll see you then, boys!